C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Li Xiao Li. Wake up, he doesn't want you anymore, do you know? Li Jun reminded the miserable Li Xiao Li in a cruel manner, Li Xiao Li lowered his head and his shoulders as he muttered with despondency in his eyes. Why? Why not me? What did I do wrong? Why did you break up with me? Li Jun held on to Li Xiaoli's shoulders tightly, and forced him to look at himself in anger. I don't understand, what's so good about that bastard? It's worth you being so reluctant to stay. Li Xiaoli's eyes were unfocused, and after a long while, he said something that made Li Jun even angrier. Why don't you want me? Tell me, can't I change it? Please don't break up with me. Li Jun released the hand that was holding Li Xiaoli's shoulders, and announced the failure of the admonition, looking at Li Xiaoli's soulless and senseless appearance, Li Jun could not help but squeeze out a few words from between his teeth. Li Xiaoli, you can degrade yourself, but this old man will not care about you. Lei, let's go, let's not bother about him anymore. With that, he turned around and walked forward with large strides, Wang Lei was being pulled by Li Jun, and would occasionally turn to look at Li Xiaoli, his face full of worry as he asked, Where's Xiaoli? What about Xiaoli? Will he be okay? Li Jun said snappily, What can happen to him? He's not a child, ignore him and let him calm down. Perhaps, he might be able to figure it out. Wang Lei replied, Oh. That's right, maybe Xiaoli can think it through himself. Li Jun said, I hope so. Come on, let's not talk about him anymore. Let's go to the one in front and eat the spicy hot food. This damned weather, it's so cold. After hearing everything, Li Xiaoli stood alone in the cold wind, feeling really pitiful. The shivering Li Xiaoli kept asking himself, why doesn't he want me? He carefully recalled the process of him and Huang Wei's meeting from meeting to getting to know each other, and then he felt that the relationship between them was so poor that he didn't even talk much about it. After going through it carefully in his mind, he didn't find anything amiss. Suddenly, a thought flashed through Li Xiaoli's mind. Right. He must have despised me for being a man. Li Xiaoli's expression changed after figuring out what happened, and he finally said hatefully to the air. Damn it, if you thought I was a man, why did you say so earlier? Why did you lie to me about my precious feelings? Bastard, if I see you again, I'll beat you into pulp. After finishing his words, he suddenly thought of looking around, fearing that the scumbag he wanted to beat up would appear out of the blue. After thinking it through, Li Xiaoli felt cold and hungry, and decided to find a place to eat first, however, just as he took two steps, his phone rang in his pocket. He thought it was from Li Jun and Wang Lei, but when he took it out, it was from his mother. After he picked up the call, he heard his mother's heart dot wrenching wail just as he called out, Mom, on the other side of the line. When Li Xiao Li heard his mother crying, he immediately panicked and asked fiercely into the microphone. Mom, what's wrong? Don't cry, did something happen at home? Hearing his son's voice, the Li's mother stopped crying and said while sobbing, Son, come back quickly, something happened at home. Once Li Xiao Li heard that something had happened at home, he immediately got anxious and called the phone. Okay. Good. Mom, don't worry, I'll be right back. After saying that, he hung up the phone and called a taxi, then headed home. Be why the time they reached home, the sky was already completely dark. Li Xiaoli got off the taxi and rushed home in two or three steps that he opened the door and peeked inside. The room was quiet. His mother was sitting on the sofa in the living room, daydreaming. Li Xiaoli walked over and sat beside his mother. He grabbed her shoulders and asked softly, Mom, I'm back. What had happened when Li's mother saw that his son had returned, he hugged his son and started crying again. Li Xiaoli saw that his mother was only focused on crying and did not say anything else. He then anxiously opened his mother's arms and let her look at him, then gently wiped away the tears on her mother's face. Mom, don't cry first, tell me what happened first. 
Lee's mother took a tissue from the table beside him and wiped his face while feeling wronged. Son, your dad has another affair. Hearing Lee's mother's words, Lee Xiaoli's face was filled with black lines, as he thought to himself, it's this stupid matter again. Li Xiaoli's father, Li Honggang was working in a department. Ever since his father was promoted to leader the year before last, something like this would happen in the next three to five days every time Li's mother and Li's father caused a ruckus, Li Xiaoli would suffer the same fate, causing Li Xiaoli to be extremely annoyed. However, no matter how annoying it was, she was still his own mother, so no matter what, he had to comfort her with a few words. Li Xiaoli lightly patted her mother's sobbing back and said. That's impossible, don't misunderstand father. Li's mother was excited. It's true this time, if you don't believe me, look, that bitch sent a picture of the two of them being so close to each other onto my phone. As he said that, he opened his phone and handed it over to Li Xiaoli, Li Xiaoli helplessly took the phone and glanced at it. The man on the phone was indeed Li Xiaoli's father, Li Honggang. Li Honggang was lying on the bed with his eyes closed. The blanket was covering his neck, so it was hard to tell if he was wearing clothes. The woman in the photo had long, yellowish hair and was wearing heavy makeup. Her bare shoulders were exposed as she leaned forward to kiss Li Honggang. It looked like an intimate scene, but Li Xiaoli could tell that it was fake with just a glance, first of all, the woman's half. Arm hanging by the bed revealed that the woman in the quilt was wearing clothes. Second, from the makeup on the woman's delicate face, it could be seen that nothing had happened between them. The two of them had combed their hair very neatly, not the slightest bit messy. It didn't seem like they had rolled over the bedsheets at all, Li Xiaoli held his phone and tried to explain to Li's mother patiently. But Li's mother was so angry by the photo that his mind was muddled, he couldn't even explain it. Li's mother looked like he did not believe it and did not want to hear it. Li Xiaoli did not have any other choice but to patiently coax him, only when his stomach rumbled did he remember that he hadn't eaten since noon. It seemed that the watch on the wall was already ten. Thirty, since the Li's mother didn't seem to have eaten anything, he stood up and went to the kitchen to prepare two bowls of vegetable and egg noodles. When the noodles were carried out, the Li's mother was still curled up on the sofa, with no reaction at all. Li Xiaoli was so flabbergasted, that Li's mother was finally willing to eat something while eating the noodles, Li Xiaoli casually asked. Mom, did dad come back tonight? Don't mention that heartless thing to me. He has already done such an ugly thing, if he still dared to come back, he can just die outside. Li Xiaoli couldn't help but speak up for his father. Mom, don't talk about my father like that, maybe it's just a misunderstanding. Li's mother glared at Li Xiaoli. He's already treated me like this, but you're still standing by his side. Are you really my son? Li Xiaoli muttered. I'm your son, not bad, but he's my father. I'm also his son. Pa. Li's mother threw down his chopsticks and said angrily. What are you mumbling about? He doesn't want you anymore, do you know? He doesn't want you anymore, do you know that? In one afternoon, Li Xiaoli heard these words twice from two different people, originally, Li Xiaoli was not in a good mood from the loss of his loved ones, but his mother had made a ruckus out of him, causing him to instantly become very angry. With a cold face, he said, Mom, don't always be so suspicious. If you continue like this, don't even mention Dad, even I don't want to come back. If you insist on going on like this, you'll only push my dad to another woman. When the Lee's mother heard this, he stood up abruptly from his chair. Instantly, tears streamed down his face as he pointed at Li Xiaoli with a trembling finger. You. Are you still my son? Li Xiaoli looked at Li's mother, whose face was covered in tears, and felt extremely sad. He said softly, Mom, it's because I'm your son that I, before he could finish, he was interrupted by the angry Li's mother. I don't have a son like you. Get the hell out of here. F asterisk CK off. Li Xiaoli's mouth was agape, and just as he was about to say something, 
Lee's mother pointed towards the door and said, Scram, I don't want to see you. Scram. Looking at the excited Lee's mother in front of him, Lee Shaoli felt sorrow and regret. He regretted saying those words that hurt his mother's heart that I in order to prevent his mother from losing control, Li Shaoli said to the Li's mother, Mom, don't be agitated, I'm leaving. I'll leave now, but you must take care of yourself. I'll come back and visit you another day. After leaving the house, Li Shaoli took out his phone and called his father. The phone rang for a long time, but no one answered, the sad and sad Li Shaoli walked alone in the cold wind, his emotions extremely complex that he couldn't understand why everything had changed. Home was no longer the warm and happy home of his childhood. His parents were no longer the same parents who loved him dearly. Everything had changed. Become so unfamiliar, become afraid of oneself. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.